Good evening, thank you for joining us. The parents of Adam Pickles, the teacher from West Yorkshire, left in a coma after being beaten up in Thailand, say they've been left frustrated and upset with the Thai legal system. A verdict was due today in the trial of Sean Tinsley, the man accused of Adam's attempted murder. But the verdict's been postponed for a second time after important legal documents were sent to the wrong court. We'll be hearing from Andrew and Adele Pickles in just a moment, but first, Ian White has this report. Adam Pickles had lived in Thailand for seven years when he was attacked with an iron bar. He'd been working as an English teacher and has a young son called Ben. In May 2012, he was involved in a so-called road rage attack in Pattaya. Adam was in a coma, but now shows some signs of recovery and has been cared for at a special home in York. The last two years have been extremely distressing for the Pickles family who live in Thorner near Leeds. His parents Andrew and Adele were forced to remortgage their home to pay medical bills of around £130,000 and to make several trips to Thailand to see the man accused of Adam's attempted murder face trial. But court proceedings have been slow and many hearings cancelled or delayed. The family expected to hear a verdict this morning but instead heard it's been put back again, this time until mid-September after important papers were sent to the wrong court. Ian White, BBC Look North. Well, Adam's parents, Adele and Andrew Pickles, join us now. Uh, Adele, if we can just start with you. This happened two years ago now to your son, Adam. Yeah. Uh, and yet another setback today. How did you feel when you heard the news? Well, I think the first feeling was shock. It, it wasn't what we expected today. We were fairly sure that we'd get a verdict today. Um, and then I think frustration after we got over the shock and then angry really that this could have happened um, when it's gone on for so long and you know it, it has a, a real impact on the family and it's difficult for Andrew and I all the, the constant ups and downs and it's like an emotional roller coaster really. Yeah I'm sure and Adam just explain the difficulties that you've had trying to deal with the Thai authorities. Well, they, there's the obvious complication with the language, um, but it's also understanding the procedures and how things happen uh, and, and the stages that it has to go through. Um, and although we have a lawyer and we have friends that go and translate, um, it is a very complicated process and, uh, and we're not sure of the stages that we have to go through, even with the best advice. I, is this just inefficiency on behalf of the people in Thailand, or is there a bit more to it than that that gets you really worried about things? I well, think we're unsure now. We're, yes. we're, we're unsure whether we're going to get justice now. Um, we put our faith in the Thai system. Um, and now... And you put all your own money in it as well. Yes. I mean, that's a, that's a mm. double worry for you yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, so we're very unsure now about what's going to happen um, and whether we're going to get justice for Adam and his little boy Ben, um, which is why we've pursued it really, because we'd like some closure on this. And it doesn't just affect you two, but it, as you said, there, there is Ben, mm -hmm. uh, your beautiful grandson, and also his wife as well. It, it affects all of you, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fafan has been uh, at every court hearing, every step of the way. Uh, she's been negotiating directly with the lawyers and interpreting for us and giving us feedback uh, and you know it would have been very very difficult without her and, and Adam's friends who have been at the court as well and translating and watching what's happening. Uh, uh, what about the British government? What have they done? Have they helped you in any shape or form? No. Not really, no. no. But we're hopeful. Yeah. We've yeah. spoken to our MP today, our MP's secretary and we're hoping now that We'll get the help that we need. You're talking about Alex Shelbrook, can't That's you? Right. Your, your local MP. We yeah. will actually be talking with him on the programme tonight at 10:25. Right. So we'll be asking him how he can help you. Right. Um, very quickly, how is Adam doing at the moment? He's doing okay. Yes, um, he's no longer classed as in a, a deep coma. Um, he's now emerging from what's known as a minimally conscious state which in layman's terms means that he is coming through and we are getting responses from him. Um, he'll, he'll mention, he'll say names and he'll smile and um, indicate to us that he can hear us and that kind of thing. So, so that gives us a lot of hope. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in and we wish you all the Absolutely. best of luck. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.